Hi everyone, so today we are going to see the uh, trimming and polishing of the denture base. So we are using the Marathon Motor Trimmers and uh, it is the this type of acrylic burrs will be used for trimming in this video. So initially we will be trimming off the excess wings that have been uh, we got from the denture base spring lawn method. Actually we can cut it uh, before it sets hard but I am not too concerned about that I'm concerned about the finish and the thickness of the danger base so I didn't cut off because we can trim it off later so you can see with due uh, with a finger pressure I mean with a finger rest we trim off the excess areas now you can appreciate it from both the sides this side how it is and the other side that is the excess portion that we need to trim so we'll be trimming it the same uh, like the same which we have done on the other side So once when we completely trim over the all the surfaces, uh, when uh, we should always check back onto the cast whether our danger base is sitting properly, is seated properly, because at times there might be hindrances which may uh, which may arise due to the excess somewhere it might be excess. So we have to trim it, and each time when we get back to the cast the thing is that we won't go short of the sulcus we won't touch the sulcus area now you can see the thickness i measured it's 2.3 in the palatal area as well as in the flange region also the thickness is 2.3 and we haven't trimmed anything from the we didn't reduce the bulk now this is the other acrylic trimmers which we are using now there are many color codings you get pink white now i didn't have uh, more of the acrylic trimmers for smoothening the surface so if you feel any roughness you can surf, you can smooth with these bars and later you can do sandpaper so even in every whatever you put it should be always you know done from coarser to finer to the finer when you come towards finer it means it gives more polishing to the surface of the denture now we are finishing checking where is there any rough surface on the dentures and thereby we are trimming it as such it's not even you know, there will be minute reduction only there won't be much reduction of the thickness while using these bars they don't uh, remove the surface of the denture they remove any hardness they only remove the they make the surface more uh, more smoother rather than changing the uh, it does not remove off okay so we can also round in the surfaces all the all the edges you can round in it if there is any spicule types or any thorny type of projections are there now you can also sandpaper it using your manually you can do or else you can also use a mandrel for that uh, i'll be showing both sandpaper why because uh, while doing you know spring lawn method with slight slight finger pressure you won't get any much uh, great irregularities on the surface so even manual sandpapering with increasing grid size is also more than enough but we'll also show how to do it in a mandrel you can um, tear off a piece a, lo a long a long piece and take your mandrel and just spiral it onto it onto the mandrel and with due uh, caution you do it on the surface of the denture Again as a note you have to use different sizes of sandpapers to get a very good finish for your final denture. So you should do it like this with the mandrel. So once we have finished we keep it in the cast and check for all the surfaces. And next we'll be removing our max mandibular denture which we have done and we'll be trimming the surface similarly as we have done for maxilla and also we'll uh, just give a finishing touch you can see even the mandible these uh, thickness of the mandible is almost 2.1 which is again between 2 to 3 mm as per the test books trim all the surfaces evenly and here also you have to get back to your cast for the check to check the fit into the cast 
and trim off all the excess areas you know when the denture base becomes bulkier even for mandible also you can understand that when there are tromola pad areas become too bulkier it will hinder with the maxillary tuberosity and it will also cause uh, you know the denture will be displaced easily so you have to always check back to the denture uh, always check back the denture onto the cast and check for any excess if there is any excess you can trim it off so that you won't even go short of the sulcus so once done everything polish it with your acrylic polishing burrs and also sandpapers it should be done in all the great grits of sandpapers so you will get a very smoother finish here since i didn't have much sandpaper grit sizes i didn't do all this Now we have almost achieved everything in a smooth finish. Now we are going to do pumicing. So while you're pumicing, always ensure that your buff is filled with water. So you know it's made wet using water and pumice. You should also put pumice onto the layers of buff so that while you are polishing it using pumice, it will you will get a very good finishing. Give a slight inward pressure while doing. Always take. Uh, you have to be careful while doing your mandible because it's U shape and there are chances that you can slip it off from your hand. Always wet the surface of the denture and do it properly. If you feel that there is any irregularity existing on the denture, please do go back and do your trimming once again. Why? Because once if you pumice in that irregularity, the pumice white castings will be onto that irregularity. So it's very important that you don't get porosities while doing. So sprinkle on technique with slight finger pressure and excess of monomer will ensure that you don't get porosities. And after trimming also ensures that you, there won't be any roughness you know uh, while doing like slight finger pressure when we give there won't be much uh, irregularities also so we have almost finished with our maxillary and mandibular denture pumicing now you can see that uh, the dentures are really well polished uh, it's not that well polished because uh, we have not used all the acrylic burrs and we have not used all the sandpaper grid sizes but if i assure you that if you have used all the sizes which are available and you, it might take maybe five or five minutes or less than five minutes but the end result will be amazing so this is the final look that we have got uh, so hope you all have gained something from this so with next will be my uh, fabrication